Baby, best friends is what we supposed to be. Who would better be a best friend? Who would better be a best friend? Who would better be a best friend? Hey gang, it's your boy Jay, aka Pay with Jay is now back with another freaking video. So if it couldn't tell from today's title, your boy is doing a QA. I've been gaining subscribers over the past few weeks now, so I decided to just do a QA for the ones who really don't know much about me since I haven't done a QA in I don't know how long. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, so I'm gonna hop right into this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And let's get into this QA. So not too long ago, I asked y'all to um, ask me some questions on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me right now at PayWithJays. But I've got a couple of questions right here in my notes, so I'm finna answer y'all questions right now. So the first question is, did braces hurt and what was my experience? For me, braces hurt for about, like definitely when you get them tight in or the very first time you get braces, like you won't be able to eat for a good three, four days like because your teeth are so sensitive I have my braces for a total of four to five years I believe between four and five years I have my braces for so after like those first two years my teeth stopped hurting when I got my braces tightened like I could literally eat anything after I got my braces tightened it didn't matter because you know I was so used to the feeling they tell you like you can't eat certain things but honestly all that stuff is bull. I ate anything that I wanted to, you know, stuff that they say you can't eat, like popcorn, chewy candy, gum, um, chicken off the ball, like stuff like that. I ate all that, so yeah. If you got $1 for every time you were told you look like your mom, how rich would you be? I'd be pretty stinking rich. Like, really rich, like, rich, rich. I'd be rich. Will you ever come to Atlanta? I've actually been to Atlanta, only once though. Um, and when I went out there, it's for business, had a photo shoot. But as far as like going out there like to visit, have fun, I wouldn't mind doing that because I really wanna go to like Slime City and Candytopia. I think those places look really fun. So yeah, I definitely would like to visit Atlanta just to like hang out or something like that. How old are you? I am 16 years old, born on February 26th, 2003. Hashtag Pisces gang, stand up. Do I like modeling? I love modeling, like I really do love modeling. I would love to do another photo shoot, like in, kind of like an updated photo shoot since I cut my hair. I will be answering why I cut my hair at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But I definitely would love to do another photo shoot. Um, I just, I love photo shoots. I love being behind the camera and I also love being in front of the camera. So somebody said, your skin is beautiful. Thank you very much. Updated skincare routine will be coming soon. I know I've been saying this for I don't know how long, but you know, it's coming. I was supposed to be doing it this week, but it just didn't work out. So trust me, it will be coming by the end of this year. I promise you. How tall are you? You seem hecka tall. I am, last time I checked, or last time I went to the doctor, I was 6'1". Really don't know how tall I am now because somebody just told me that it looked like I got taller. So, I'm not really sure, but from what I know, I'm 6'1". Why don't you make music with Tracy? Because music isn't my thing. My mom's thing, my brother's thing. Even my grandma's thing, but some music that's just not for me. I do not want to be involved in any kind of musical things. That is just not my forte. You know, I'm I model. I do YouTube. That's it. Music? Mm -mm. Do I have a personal shopper? <laughs> I don't have a personal shopper. It will be nice from time to time. Like when I like really would need to find something. I can usually find anything I like really want online. But for the times that I can't find what I want and what I need, it would be nice to have somebody to hit up and be like, hey. Like, can you find this for me and find it for a cheaper price and they get it for me so I mean it would be nice but um, I really don't need it like that because I don't even shop as much as I used to my back to school stuff don't count I was getting packages like every day but that's different it's for back to school have I ever been to Philly yeah I've been to Philly one time I really wanted to go to like that street that has all the shopping 
stores. I don't know what street it is, but I wanted to go to that street, but we didn't have time, so. What's the best way to reach people with art? I would probably say like promote on social media, um, maybe enter an art show, you know, stuff to showcase your art talents or whatever. Where can I get a teddy bear jacket from? I want one for school and I see you wear them. That's funny because I did get me some more teddy bear jackets for back to school. So excited for winter slash fall, like so excited, but that's another story. I usually get them from ASOS, but I got the ones this year from Shein Men and Boohoo Men. Your best bet if you want to get them for cheap would be Shein Men. The ones I got from there were probably like between 10 to 20 dollars. What's your shoe size? My shoe size is a size nine. I have very small feet for my height. I've been a size nine since like middle school. My feet probably aren't gonna grow anymore, so yeah. What can I do to maintain good grades? Keep up on all your schoolwork when you miss school. You know, come back to your teachers immediately and ask them for your makeup work. Study, study, study. Something I need to work on this school year. Don't procrastinate at all because procrastination is not good. And ask for extra credit. Extra credit really does boost up your grade. Even if it's like five points, it's gonna boost up your grade. So yeah. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I love blue. Like I really, really love blue. What do you do when you want to confront somebody about something? It really depends on the situation. Like for me, I don't confront nobody unless it's something major, like something big. That's the only reason when I'm confront somebody but if it's something little just ignore them and let them look like a fool because at the end of the day when somebody gets you out of your character they win don't let nobody bring out your character you know just ignore them stay cool and eventually whatever you want to confront them about will blow over have you ever gotten to a fight no your boy don't fight just not my thing fighting is just not for me what is it like being a prominent blogger well for starters, I'm not a blogger, I'm a YouTuber slash vlogger, but um, I mean, it's pretty nice, you know? It can be stressful at times, but it's pretty good, you know? I love YouTube, I love the creative part behind it. I know you lying. Okay, it's a soft spider, but we back in business. I forgot what I was saying, so I'm just going to the next question. Where did I get my sense of fashion from? You are very fashionable. I got my sense of fashion from, honestly, I don't even know. I definitely go to my mom when I like have my photo shoots and stuff like that because she has a very good sense of fashion. So I go to her for photo shoots like, hey, how should I dress this up or how should I dress this down? You know, she kind of brings that edgy part my photo shoots, if that makes sense. It's a lot of people on Instagram that I look at for like fashion inspo. Okay, my air conditioner just cut on, so please excuse that in the background. Chicago anytime soon? No, probably not. There's not really anything in Chicago that I have, that I would probably have going on. What is my favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is shop and listen to music. And last but not least, the question that you have all been waiting for why I cut off my hair. It's a really, really funny story. Uh, I was gonna turn it into a story time, but uh, <laughs> it's not long enough to be a story time. The video will probably be in three minutes, so. Yeah, so one day, I decided to, you know, tell myself, hey, I think I need a trim, you know? I, I really need to trim my hair because if you didn't know, before I went to ring dance, my hair was like this. I'll insert the picture right here. Um, my hair was like this, and it went from that to this after rain dance and um you know it was growing out a little bit more i thought i saw my dead ends which really wasn't dead ends which is hair so i decided to take a pair of scissors and start trimming my hair mind you my hair wasn't wet you, you know it wasn't anything it wasn't even blown out you know i'm just cutting 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 and by the time i'm done cutting right here is right here right and this is right here. If I have a picture, I'll insert it. But my hair looked pretty crazy. And even like with my hair wet, dry, I put products in it to try to blend it and it'll push the top down. Nothing worked. I trimmed my hair like a few weeks before school ended. So I just decided to wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. And that's why I cut my hair. Yeah, that's the reason why I cut my hair. I know a lot of people have been asking and I've kind of been putting it off. So 
yeah that's really all for this video i hope you all enjoyed that mini story time and i hope you all enjoyed this q a make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel don't forget to follow me on instagram at paid with jays and tweet me also paid with jays until next time peace paid gang Thank you.